These two diagrams show how markets fail if the good is either a merit good or a demerit good. Remember, markets fail because there is a misallocation of scarce resources. If you remember, a merit good is a good which is better for somebody than they know. And the reason why they don't know the good is, the good, is good for them is because of information failure. So, you can show on a diagram that without the information, they, there will be a certain level of demand. That would mean that within the economy, the quantity consumed would be OQ. But let's say that the government runs an information campaign and people then know how good uh, a product really is for them. In that case, it would shift the demand curve to the right because with the information, more people will demand the product. And the result will be an increase in the quantity which would be consumed. So, markets fail when there are demerit goods because too few of the goods are consumed and not enough is produced. Too few scarce resources go into producing the good. The opposite is true of a demerit good. A demerit good is, someone, is a good which is worse for somebody than they know uh, about because they suffer information failure. So, Without information, the equilibrium would be where supply is equal to demand. Okay, so it'd be an OP and OQ. If there is a campaign which people get information, for example, on the dangers of drink driving or the uh, binge drinking or any issues such as that or smoking, then what will happen is that with this information, some people will decide not to buy the product anymore. The demand curve will shift inwards. And the demand curve with the information, where it cuts the supply curve, will now give us a new equilibrium. And the effect would be that there would be a lower quantity demanded. Therefore, the market fails when there are demerit goods because in the free market, in the free market, too much is produced, too much is consumed, too many scarce resources are put to this use.